Hi everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Here we talk about tech, wellness, travel, and things of that nature. So if that sounds good to you, subscribe for more. Today we're going to be talking about these new devices, the Rokid Max 2. This is a pair of VR, or AR I should say, wearables that is a little bit newer to the market. These function not only as AR glasses, but they also function as a secondary screen for your laptop, for your Switch, for your any handheld device that you have. They work fantastic. And they even have a lot of uh, features built in, which we'll go over shortly. So whether you're streaming movies, browsing apps, or looking to unpack something new in the world of technology, these might be for you. So let's talk about what's in the box. Right out of the box, the Rokid Max 2 AR glasses come with the glasses themselves, a sleek carrying case, a microfiber cleaning cloth, a USB safe uh, cable, and if you purchased it as well, it will also come with the Station 2 remote. The package really does feel premium. These glasses feel very well built, and so does the little box that it comes with to store them. So let's do a little live look here. I know we shot some B-roll that I put in there a second earlier, but in the box, as you can see, we have a bunch of room here. So we have, of course, the AR glasses themselves. We have the clip-on covers. So this is if you're in a light area or you don't want to see through the glasses. They also help enhance the fidelity of the screen. So these guys right here. Then, as you can see in the box, we or in the uh, yeah the glasses box, we could fit the Type C cable pretty easily. And I actually carry this is separately purchased, but it's a splitter here, so you could plug in the Type C and you could charge it while plugging it into another device at the same time. Really convenient if you have one of these devices. Then I always keep a microfiber cloth in here because you know it gets smudgy. And then they put in this, which I think they intend this to be the, the cleaning cloth, but it almost feels like a rubber, or not rubber, a styrofoam like insert thing. So I'm not quite sure, um, but I think they mean for this to be able to clean the screen. Otherwise, I think it is a good placeholder for that station device that I spoke about earlier, that little pocket computer. So as you can see, there's plenty of room in here to handle any of the um, any of the the tech that comes in the whole package. So as I mentioned, the design and build is really good. It sports a matte black finish. Uh, you can also get them, I think, in white. There's two different colors. This was a pre-order, so it did take forever to get here, but it finally it finally did get here. They come in at just about 75 grams of weight. And, and there's a lot of functionality to these, like I said earlier. So using this connector in the back, it's a type C cable. You're able to plug this into any device that really sports a type C cable. This is outside of using that secondary station two device. For example, your laptop, you can plug it right in. Next, you have a series of buttons and switches on here. So let's start from the front and work our way back. So starting at the front here, we have a what they call a diopter adjustment. So if you wear glasses, you're able to easily adjust the, the how close it is to your eye in order to get a clearer picture. Next up at the, at the bottom here, you have a brightness button. So a couple clicks will give you five levels of brightness. And you have a volume up and down rocker there. Additionally, these buttons have secondary click functions, which allow you to do things such as increase the hertz so it goes all the way up to 120 hertz refresh rate of a screen and it also allows you to increase or i should say make things 3d so if you have 3d footage that you want to view you could view that right through here additionally you'll also notice at the bottom we have two slits and those slits are for an integrated speaker so this, these speakers are actually very good and they get very loud. Uh, so much so that you could also, you, people around you might be able to hear some of the content 
So they actually do have a privacy feature, which almost sounds like it reduces the volume. I don't exactly know exact what it does tech-wise in, the, in these devices, but it does make it so other people can't hear. So you could experiment with, around with that. And just a couple details. So that diopter adjustment actually will help support prescriptions before between zero, of course, normal, and negative six diopters. So that is good for those who wear glasses. The details around the specifications are that it has a resolution of 1200p, and that's per eye which is, provides great clarity, 90 hertz display, of course, and that you can also increase the hertz, I believe up to 120 it is, and then the brightness goes up to 600 nits, which is great for outdoor use or areas of bright environment. The field of view is 50 degrees, which you might not think is a lot, but it actually is a good, it's a good deal. It, it, it makes it look like a huge screen TV. I'd also like to say that I did not receive the Station 2 yet from the pre-order, so I can't really comment on how that works compared to just plugging in as a regular monitor. I do know that it provides additional features such as the AR features where you could have multiple screens and whatnot. So. Are the AR glasses worth it? Let's talk about a couple use cases. If you're a media enthusiast and love watching YouTube videos, then it's probably a good investment, or maybe movies or shows, whatever. It's probably a great investment because you have your own personal TV to go around anywhere you go. If you travel a lot, I would also recommend it as these are a great companion for a plane. You just slip them on and you forget where you are, honestly. The only thing I will warn against is it's hard to wear over the ear headphones with these. So if you're used to wearing headphones, you might need to get some in the ear. Not that it can't be done. It just kind of pushes the sides of these glasses against your head and it could be a little uncomfortable. Uh, next up, of course, is for work productivity. Secondary monitor right here, wherever you travel. So you put the glasses on, you have your laptop down bottom and you have these up top. You get two displays pretty much vertical. So you're able to use that any way you like. Next up is for gaming. So these are great for gaming. Again, you plug it into your Switch, your Steam Deck, whatever you want to play, whatever you, whatever handheld you have, or I mean, you guess you could do your PC as well. And you really have a giant screen TV where you could play video games on. So this actually works really well for that. Personally, I use it when my partner is watching TV in the living room and I also want to sit in the living room. I just pop these glasses on and then I could either watch TV, YouTube, I could play on my gaming device, whatever, and we don't disturb each other. So it kind of all works out perfectly. So if you found this video helpful, make sure to click like and subscribe to the Tech Nurse channel for more tech, wellness, and travel content. See y'all in the next one.